and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carl and Miller's Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. CBQ. Yeah. You. You really gotta hit the U. You. It's like a roller coaster. It doesn't work as well as roller coaster. Let's break a box. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Inertia! Oh man, last week the eyeball energy was a great energy, but what are we gonna have this week? Probably metal. Oh, you think metal? Yeah. Pretty low odds on that. Pretty low odds, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen like it does, right? It's eyeball energy again! No way! Wow, all right, so the first two packs are popping off. There were so many uh, psychic cards in this particular set. Go ahead and just get this plastic wrap off of here. We don't need any of that. It really is. It's just like we, do, we don't handle anything with care in these parts. Open. And once again, we don't have to change the skateboards. We don't have to change the skateboards! My favorite part of this show is when we don't have to change the skateboards. And when I call dibs! Oh man. Okay, before you open, maybe we should tell everyone about today's randomly chosen common chase cards, which are going to be Mischievous, Nimble, and Sviper. So yet again, another eyeball energy card in the common chase cards. You wanna know what's the coolest part about opening a booster pack? What? Is that somewhere in here is something cool. Yeah, I absolutely. Be, I could be holding it. You could it. be holding it right now. Like right now, I am. Oh, that's a good point, unless it's one of these two, which well, I've cleverly stored behind whoa. the box. Okay. All right, then. Well, today's first contestant is a rookie. It's Icy. 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 Yes, okay. that's right. All right, all right. The Nuzlocke reignited his love for Pokemon games. Well, well. That's pretty cool. So uh, Icy is, of course, up for the uh, Rookie of the Day Award, which is, you know, our classic $10 Olive Garden gift card, not sponsored, go. but would be. You don't suppose there's any chance that Icy's first name is Vanilla, do you? Ooh. Vanilla Icy? Vanilla Icy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Probably. Let's see what we got here. We got the Q-Font, the Krogunk, the Rookity, the Magnemite, the Pyroar, the Florigato, the Mousehole, the Magikarp will not score, the Orth Worm will, will score, score, as will the low kicks. As will the low kicks, man. So, narrowly missing a one point pack there for uh, Vanilla Icy. Vanilla Icy, which by the way, so that was for Team Water. The team competition's already heating up with Team Electric currently sitting atop that podium. But However, uh, one of the things that we that we realized is that last season this exact same thing happened, and I think it's in part due to the fact that Big Steve is on Team Electric and has already opened three packs. Right. Worth. So, so they've got a, two extra packs so to go off of. The, the question is whether or not Team Grass is just cracking their knuckles over there. Like, and they're like, just give us a second. We're a okay. slow burn because we're made of grass. Yeah, right. I'm like fire, which is a fast burn because they're made of fire. Yeah, exactly. All right, then our next contestant. Oh my gosh, are we going right into the Rookie of the Day competition? They are uh, Crafty Chick. Crafty Chick. All right, well, here we go. Whoop. We're going to, bam, no type advantage just yet, but we will get a Sandy Gast on the board, Larvitar, Tarantula, Charcadet, Bombardier, Flamigo, Tauros, the Palmo does not score, the Charcadet does not, and the Gyarados will. So just a two point pack. I thought we were gonna go a little bit higher there out of the gate. I know, it felt like it felt like a good omen with the Sandy Gast right out, but instead, nothing else, but I, I am actually pretty obsessed with this Gyarados artwork. It does remind me of like base set, uh, sort of like artwork, it's just yeah. very impressive and you know, for like a, for, for a base hollow. Right? Pretty solid. So our uh, Rookie of the Day competition then is already tied at two. Tied at two! So I don't know how many we have in here, but actually, actually I think I do. I think we have three and it looks like they've been stacked to the top because next up we have uh, Aaron B, who is uh, also a rookie. So 
I think we are going to uh, wrap up today's Rookie of the Day competition right out of the gate. All he needs is more than two points. More than two. Can you smell them breadsticks? Man, probably. And this, if so, what do they smell like? The Nuzlocke also got them back into Pokemon. So the Nuzlocke, man, I got to finish that last season. I know, apparently. Apparently. We're getting, getting people excited about some Pokemon. We've got the Phalanx, the Combi. The Puff the, Scores. The Jiggly Puffle Score, the Giraffe Ring, the, <gasps> the Tinkatuffle Score, the Pombo, the Gotharita will score. The Calamitous Snowy Mountain is just a hilarious sounding card. The Combi is is a critical hit. Oh my gosh, you're right! So, what is happening? So that's a 2x multiplier. And the Cerulege will score twice! Goodness so my gracious. Be so. One, two, three, four, five, times two is 10 points! Impressive! Man, well done to Aaron B. taking home the Rookie of the Day award. Calamitous Snowman Mountain does sound like a we named it, doesn't it? It really it's does. It's like, where's, where's Rockus Pummeling Ring or something? You know? Yeah, oh my gosh, can you even imagine? Oh my gosh, look, if you're working at Pokemon and you need a name for a card, Rockus Pummeling Ring. It's like, Rock. does does suffer fighting types, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Oh, goes good right. without saying. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, well done to Aaron B, Rookie of the Day. Unless there's another rookie in here that I'm not aware of, but uh, Kat said there was three, and that was three, so bam. There we go. Next up, we have Lady Starlight, who's coming in uh, for her second season ever. Only scored six points last season, so you gotta think maybe they want a, a little bit better performance this a little time. Better, but Team Electric as well, so I mean, like, they're, they're riding kind of that high from, like, episode one, where they, like, really just kind of knocked it yeah. out of the park. This is so. their chance to really extend the lead. All they need is one big card here. They got a teardrop energy. Sneasel, the Gothita will score, the Meryl, the Wingle, the, the Survivor scores, score, yeah. all right. The Tauros, the Luxio, the Iono scores! That's our uh, two-point card this season. The Tarantula does not, and the Slacking does, so lots Man. of weird scoring yeah, opportunities. So one, there. two, three, four, five. Five points there for Electric. Is that enough to uh, move the needle? Actually, it is, so that does get Electric a one more point, it looks like. That's amazing. For now. So the other thing, too, here is that all, all uh, Lady Starlight needs to do for the rest of the season is just get two more points, then we got a new personal record for highest score of the season. Right, and yeah. they'll definitely get two more points because we don't have any negative point values this season. That's exactly right. All right, so next up we have Tyler Gillies, who Tyler has an identical Gillies. twin brother. Oh, Tyler Gillies had a great season last time, 57 points. Although I think last season, even 57 was like, it wasn't as high as you would normally suspect. Yeah, it seemed like think, we really yeah. started hitting a whole bunch of high scoring cards there. Yeah, we had some All good right. boxes last season for sure. So there's the Metal Energy. The Tadbold, the Giraffe Rig, the Great Ball, the Relor, the Farap Drig, <laughs> the Spot Hops, the Passimian, the Wingo. Does will not score, not score oh, the first no. energy, uh -oh. will not score. Oh! You say Cla Clavel? Cla Clavel? 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 249 on the set is what go. it will be. And we will scan ourselves on down here. $1.55 for that Clavel. Really? Clavel. Just yeah. a two point card? I definitely thought that was going to be. Uh, a lot higher for it a full art trainer. It does seem like it would have maybe smacked a little bit more outside of the park, but that's quite all right. Either way, it's a cool card headed your way. Yeah, it is. That's our first big pull of the day. All right, well done to Tyler Gillies for Team Fire. Next up is Sydney Steele. Sydney Steele. All right, finished last season with 17 points. Pretty solid performance. I like to think is a huge fan of all metal energy, even though the steel is spelt very differently it than is. how you might expect. No doubt. It says Sydney training for a marathon on this card, but I suspect that is uh, perhaps coming past at this point. Either way, I'm proud of you. I ran yeah. my own marathon once upon a time last year. Mischievous scores. Gothida scores. The Dendra does not. The Palosan, the Palosan does. The Mischievous. Oh, scored. it's a critical hit! Look, there it is. Oh my gosh, and Bam. it's a randomly chosen common chase card. Oh my gosh! You Wow, we're gonna have to do some math here in a second. Okay. Hold on, and you hit a Slow King, which is oh. also a Psychic! Oh my oh gosh, that's a gosh. beautiful card. Oh my okay. gosh, that's so okay. cool. Okay, so let's see. This is a... Oh. No it's, no, it's not. Okay, for a second I thought it was a four times multiplier. I was like, no, 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 wait. Okay, so let's see. We have at least one, two, three, four, okay. plus. And then we got to check the number 238 on the set is going to be $5.11, so six. Oh, wait, no, but it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Because this is a cho randomly chosen common chase card and a psychic, so it's two points. You are correct. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and how much is this one? Six. Six plus one for being psychic is seven. 
So 13 times two is 26. Goodness. Wow. Whoa. What a pack. That was amazing. Oh my Man. gosh. I love it. I love it when the, the rules come into play. Oh in my gosh. That's interesting. Me too. And look at that. And you know what? That puts Sydney Steele into first place overall for Team Water, which means Team Water is sitting pretty because presently before that, Megan K was sitting in first place, also on Team Water with 18 points. So now so, they occupy the top two spots on the leaderboard. So Team Water is looking at Team Electric being like, so what? You got so type what? advantage over us. No, no big base. deal in this competition. It's on. Next up, we have everyone's favorite Sammy, Ben's probably sister-in-law, Sammy. Sammy. <laughs> Exactly. I wonder oh if this gosh. person is like, I, I would like, like it if when we meet them, if we meet them, I say when, as if this is like a, a pre-planned It's a foregone thing. conclusion. A foregone, yeah, certainly. Yeah, it's gonna happen. I, if you are in fact my sister-in-law, then I was the best man at your wedding, so wow. there's that. I was um, also in your wedding. That's true. Yeah. We both were. We were both in the wedding. Amazing! Yeah. What a beautiful day. Truly lovely. Anyway, was. you should let us know if, if slash when we probably maybe meet you. At this point, you guys are basically related anyway. Yeah, hey, family. You know family. So anyway, Ben, if you'd like to open Sammy's pack. I'll do it. Let's see here. Boy, that last pack was wild. That was wild. A lot to consider. Still riding, riding that high for a while. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. So we'll do that. We've got a raucous pummeling energy there. we got a tropius, a great ball, a hot pip, a makuhita, a uh, haunt crow, a calamitous wasteland. The a calamitous mate. stuff happening. I know. <laughs> the uh, choice belt does not score. The toxic crow does, does not, not score. score. Oh no, it's a one point pack. A one point. Let's check that value there just to Live see the how, how there. single Palmot that is. Uh, that is going to come in at a whopping six a cents. Six cents. That's so. about as low as you can go, except for that five cent uh, jump uh, bluff. Jump bluff, yeah, which we've seen one of so far this season. We have. So uh, 1.4 Sammy, unfortunately, but you know what? Great for last place. Great for last place. It's for a good position to be in as long as you don't mind absolutely losing. Yeah, which is to say winning. Right. The yeah. real last place is second to last place. That's true. Right? That's true. That's, that's, that's just as close as you can get. Uh, next up is Omega. Former uh, season champion, I think back in season two. Season two, I believe so. With, yeah, with 58 yeah. points yeah, overall. Points Very impressive. Crazy. Let's see how we do today. Can we get, bam, Metal Energy. There it is. All right, the Pine Code, the Tinka Tink, the Mankey with the amazing artwork, the Delibird, the Mabostiff, Pupitar, Flamigo, got the Rita will score, Spidops will not, and, oh, the Dedene EX. Okay. Which is also, they got the type advantage on it, so it gets one extra point on top of whatever it's worth. Good to remember, it's going to be only worth 61 cents. No! So just a two point to Dene for you. So, so one, two, three, four. Four points, points on the pack. Overall, unfortunately, for Omega, but still a pretty good start. Pretty good start for good uh, start. Team Fire there. As ever, we will sleeve it for you. That hey, actually right. does score for Team Fire, believe it Does it really? Yes, it does, as I'm looking at the leaderboard over there. Goodness that puts gracious. them in fifth place on Team Fire, so they will score points. Well done. All right, next up, we have got Data Rage. Oh my gosh, you never know what to expect with Data Rage. But apparently you do know what to expect from me, thanks to Data Rage, who has been going through and compiling all of the data from our various episodes, yeah. and has discovered that it is statistically less good for me to pull your pack. Yeah, so... so sorry about that, Data. <laughs> Sorry, um, Ben's still opening it for you. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's happening anyway. The Salad Energy, the Quaxley, the Tinka Tink, look at this, I'm already crushing it for you. The Pincursion, the Makuhita, the Reversal Energy, the Therapeutic Energy, the Choice Belt, lots of interesting kinds of cards coming out here. The yeah, Double Special Energy. Will not score, the Tad Bulb will not score, and the Wiggly Dub will score will twice. Score. So it's three points for a Data Rage coming out there, man. I feel like all of our rare cards today have been uh, Eyeball Energy, so I feel like we're getting a lot of that double I'm down. telling you, man. I Eyeball energy is the uh, type advantage to have this season. I can't believe we got it twice out of the gate, but it's been good for the players and very good for Team Water. Uh, next up is Narwhal King. So this is only very barely related to Narwhal, but we do a sticker club if you are a subscriber to uh, Carlin Brothers Coffee over Carlin Brothers Mercantile, and you get a special sticker. Hey, there we go. We get the Owl Energy. Oh yeah. A special sticker if you do a, subs if a subscription each month. Uh, I believe next month's sticker is of you hugging a narwhal. Oh. It's like really early fan art that we were able to convert into a sticker and finally use for something. Well, so there you anyway, go. If you narwhal. Want, if you want the sticker, head over to CarlinBrothersMercantile.com. There you go. There we go. Get the Mankey, the Raichu, the Gothitelle will score. Let, oh, you know they want something big here to try and score with the- Oh! oh! A Quabble 
Rex, booyah, so that's pretty good, pretty good. And it is the uh, full art version, so you'd think there'd be a little bit of extra juice on it. Let's take a Double peek check, no see. critical hits happening here, nope. Number okay. 235, unfortunately not as much as you would expect, $1.99. Oh, cents. No. It only so, gets a penny in rounding as well. Uh, so two, three times two is six points for Narwhal King, so not nothing, not nothing. That actually does score for fire as well, that puts them into second place for fire. Uh, which will bump out whoever we just said moved into the fifth spot, Omega. Omega. Yeah, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> Enjoy that. You're out. <laughs> Enjoy contributing to your team for a second. Yep. Narwhal King has bumped you out of the competition, or at there, least for now. There is always next month, though. There you go. So there enjoy that quick wobble. That's really cool either that way. Is. Very nice one. All right, next up is Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon. Bacon, here we go. Is it your turn, I believe, to pull? Is it my turn? Okay. Yeah. Oh, tell. this is a father-son team. Dad is bacon, son is monkey. Oh, that's right. Not not b bacon made from monkeys. Right, yeah, that'd be... Ugh. 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 Yeah, mm. well, probably not even a good not thing. Not for me. To, probably not a good thing to say out loud, even. Yeah, right, you're trying to get us demonetized, then? There you go. All right, so there's the salad energy for you. Uh, the Pincursion, the Dino. Yeah, Dino. Yeah, oh, man. The Magikarp, the Slowpoke will scores. score. The Grusha, the Miss Magus, Magus will, will score. score. The Bramble, guess they see something peeking something out Something is peeking. The, the Great Ball, the Electrode will not score, but Ooh, the... Caparaja! Caparaja, of Man. course! We were low on chase cards today, but so far the Caparaja looks a little bulky X to me, but we'll double check it. Comes in a whopping 51 cents. Wow, 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 wow. So that's going to be a three-point pack overall for Monkey Bacon. Pretty sad. Well, I mean, not, it's, you know, it's alright. You got a you got a full art card, so you got a full enjoy art card. that. Something to enjoy. You know what? Yes. At the end of the day, it's not the value of the cards; it's the points we earn along the way, right, which exactly. is determined by the value of the cards. So I don't know what I started this trying to say. The real friends are the points we earn. <laughs> the, real, the real points are the friends we made along the way. That's it. That feels like a. That's, that's better. That is better. That is better. For a second there, it felt like an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. That show will mess you up. All right, next up is Mbug. Mbug. Oh, the parents gave them the name Mbug. Likes to cross stitch and read. Hey! Cross stitching. That sounds fun. It does seem like a very peaceful. All right, lightning bolt energy coming down. Wild by the super rod, the love disc, the snover, the fletching, the bombardier, the skip loom, the oranguru will score, the relore will not, and the jump, jump off. Oh, ye old tiny jump off. So that's a two point pack. Bam, there you got the Orangaroo though. That's, you know, always always pretty solid. Orangaroo! Orangaroo, I know, right? Reminds me of uh, Civil War. All right, next up we have Matthias. Matthias is a longtime veteran of the game. Has had a few good seasons. Uh, came in at 36 points last season. Okay. And had a strong start, so maybe this is the pack to watch. This is the pack to watch. We're about to find out. There's the Lightning Bolt Energy, the Magikarp, the Slowpoke Slow will scores. score, the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Palmo, the Tinkatoff will score, the Bravery Charm, the Larvitar will not score, the Oricorio. Yeah. Nice. Will score, actually, and the Weavile will score. So. I am. So that's going to be just a four point pack straight up. Not, not a bad showing either way, though. Maybe not if you could bad. do that uh, in just a a little extra. I think that puts you in strong Big Steve contention for each pack to yeah, come. Right, honestly, that puts you in second place on Team Grass. So <laughs> there you uh, go. Team Grass not having the season they were having last season so far. So far, so far. But, but still, you know what? You know what? This this could be it with Ken's. Ken's. Ken's is coming up. Which reminds me, you see him Barbie this week. How does Ken's remind you of Barbie? Ken and Ken Barbie. I now ca I caught it. It's I basically the I, other I character. It, as I said it out loud, I was like, "What does Ken have?" Oh, oh right, the Benz. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Man, here we go. All right, let's see how Ken's does. Can they put some points on the board for grass? Last season they did twenty points. There's a Tinka Tank. That's a point. The Noibat, the Sprigatito, the Giacomo, the Talonflame. Here, oh, double Noibat, we have a critical hit! A critical hit, oh! oh! Followed by the Illustrator Art Bramblin and the Ting Lu! Wow, what a pack for Team Grass. As soon as you count them out, they score with a big grass card. As soon as you count them, count them out, they count themselves in! They count themselves in. All right, let's see, what is the Bramblin gonna be worth here? The, the Bramblin is worth $3.52, oh, so man. that'll round up to four. four. Uh, the Tink Tink obviously is just the one. Yep, the so Tink five. Let's, let's see, one twenty-seven is going to be one dollar forty-six. Okay, so that's going to be 
Uh, two points for that, which makes it seven times two is fourteen points. There we go. Okay, I mean, like, roaring, team grass, yeah, right man. into the top five all right at once. Into, yeah, and now suddenly, Team Grass also has two members in the top five. So just like that, just like you that, think you, just, you can count out Team Grass, but you cannot. They just keep growing back like a weed. Ooh, because it's grass. You get it? Get, yeah. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. I wonder Three. if their their chant would have something to do with weeds. 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 <laughs> we are so good at demonetize this yeah, time. Yeah, I know. It's definitely yeah. out. We're, we're just asking for it. But yeah. you know what? Sometimes it's what you gotta do. All right, next up we've got Lauren B, one of the many Laurens who plays this game. So if your name is Lauren, maybe you too should consider playing. If you haven't uh, already. It's the most popular name in the game. But not the name of the game. Oh, that's a good point. That's yeah. A good point. All right, Ooh. Lauren B here. Uh, finished last season with 23 points. I don't think this is the Lauren we met. No, it's not. It's not, nope. Yeah. No. Bam, let's see. Fireball Energy. We've got the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Tropius, the Dunsparce, the Palisand will score, the Raichu, the Gothitelle will score, the Jet Energy does not, Abomasto does, and Veluza does. So just a four point pack there for Lauren B. None too just, shabby. Just a simple little four point pack. There you go. Not too bad. I don't think we've seen a single Nimble today or a Saviper. Maybe, maybe one Saviper? Maybe one. But no nimbles. No nimbles for sure. All right, next up is Kitten Ninja. All right, Kitten Ninja. Do you think that's a ninja who attacks kittens or a ninja who is a kitten? No, definitely the first. Oh, yeah, okay. Attacks kittens. Attacks kittens. Well, without a doubt. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Well, you know kittens. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, we got the Litleo, the Rockruff, the Palmy, the Larvitar, the Superior Energy Rune. Uh, retrieval. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of words. That is. The Pseudo Udo, the Pelipper, the Luxio will not score, the Wooper will not score, but the, the Spirit Spiritu will, will twice. score twice. So that's just two points for Kitten Ninja there. And if you want to stop Mew, totally. Like, that's your play right that's there. That's exactly right, Ben. Spirit Tomb stops Mew. I've been listening. Uh, I'll tell you what. Steven, Big Steve, played um, his Gardevoir deck into, no, he played Mew. Okay. Into the last regionals he went to, which was NAIC, and uh, he came across several of Spiritomb, which did not slow him down. Nice! Yeah. It, th it thought it had it, but it and doesn't. They were like, oh, I got the Spiritomb, and he was like, I don't, I don't care about Spiritomb. I'm not, yeah, I'm not anyway, even worried about that. Attach my fusion energy and win. All right, next up is Cortavian. Cortavian. Maybe the best name for the game. It's a good one. It is yeah. a good one because it feels like it feels like a fierceness. And yeah. It's also got the word card, yeah. sort of in there, even though right it's Cart in there. Cartavian. Yeah. Cartavian, but it sounds like Cardavian. Yeah. Yeah. All that said, Cardavian is still looking for their big break. They've been just sort of mid the past few seasons, eight, ten, five, three, sort of all over the place, trying to get a big score here for Team Fire. Let's see. Quaxley, Charcadet, Rillor, Tadbulb, Kilowattrel, Azumarill, Vespaquin, Rookadee, the Ice Q does not score, and the Garnacle. So, unfortunately, Cartavian continues the trend. A single point, the Garnacle, I don't think is worth, well, let's see. Nine cents. Nine, Nine cents. cents. Okay, so not quite in last place. There was that six cent pack earlier, uh, but you know what? Still pretty good. Pretty solid if you're going for last place. So, maybe you are. Maybe you are. Someone you are needs Cardavia. to. Exactly. Someone will win it. Someone will. All right, next up we've got Jupiter Fox coming into the game here. The professional face painter and balloon artist. Oh, you man. know what? We had a meetup in Chicago once upon a time and we hired a balloon artist for the people waiting in line and it was like one of the weirdest best hits ever. It really was. Yeah. It was so much fun and a total blast. And people brought us like cool things that they made out of balloons. Yeah, don't okay. underestimate a balloon artist. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got the Palmy, the Larvitar, the Dieno. Dieno. Nice. Hey. The Sandy, Sandy Gas, Gas the Gotharita scores, yep. the Honchcrow, the Pseudo Wudo, the Artisan uh, does not score, the Shrewdle does not score, and the, the Garnacle. Back to back on knuckles. Wow. <laughs> back right, to so. back on knuckles. There you go. Three points <laughs> uh, for Jupiter Fox for Team Grass. There we go. All right, Garnacle coming at you. Oh, almost messed up the card order. That would have been bad. All right, next up we have Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan. Joe Cathan is coming into just their second season of the game. They finished last season with 14, so they came up to a pretty good start. So 14 this season would be an ideal position for that Big Steve award. That's true, but most of their points came in their second pack at 10 points. So okay, okay. Let's see. Um, that, it did take all three, all three packs for them to get there. 
the Whooper, the Noibat, the Combi, the Arctabax, the Giacomo, Talonflame, Delivery Drone, the Flamigo, and the Luxray, which is a really competitive card, but only gonna get you one point today, I'm afraid. Not competitive in this game. Let's check yet, Dennis. Not today. It is worth 14 cents. 14 so as, whole cents. As far as one pointers are concerned, it's, I'll I mean, write it, down, it, I'll it write could it be down. worse. I mean, there's the ideal sort of like five, six, seven cents range, and then right. if you really want to flex a little bit and go up to 14, I mean, you just do you, you know, whatever feels right. Exactly. All right, next up, we've got uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy, who has had, who's been on an upward trajectory here. They went, uh, 13 points, 14 points, 29 points. Okay, so it's been it's been like it's been a showing. Yeah, and that's I can, it. They did get the last two packs though have been just two points and one point. So. Okay, okay, but we already got at least two. There's at least two. Yeah. The Charcadet, the Murkrow, the Fletchinder, the Toxicroak, the Aromaru. The Dunsparce will not score, the Wattrel will not score, but the Orthworm Earthworm. will, which well, will give you, you three go. points. That's oh, the best pack out of your last three packs. So there Points is that. Wise. Yeah, at least we're growing. There you go. Back on the upward trends there, uh, Jeremy. All right, next up we have got uh, Jackinator and Dakinator. Uh, which I believe is a uh, power couple here. Or at least the duo, at the very least. They nuzlong alongside myself! And I found that they uh, now love uh, Starwall. Oh, oh like the, the game, game Starwall. The game Starwall is a hoot if you have a bunch of people in a room together. It is pretty hilarious. Oh man, calamitous pummeling, am I right? Hey, hey nailed it! Apparently. The Frigibax, the Knackle, the Citadel, the Ice Cube, the Iono scores, the Knackastack. Look, you're gonna have like a, maybe you'll get another Garnacle in here. There we the go. The Tropius, the Pupitar does not, and the <laughs> the Wigglytuff. Oh man, so it's gonna be a three point pack. Uh, four overall. point, because we'll have the oh, uh, you're right. point there. Yep. Wow, good catch. Four point patch for Jackinator or Dakinator. This would have been a pretty decent pack to have the. Uh, the Rockus Pummeling. The Rockus Pummeling. Yeah, yeah you're right. Would have a pretty solid show in there, but either which way. But you didn't. The Iono, still very competitive. Yeah. Very useful, very helpful. It is. When I learned things like this, I have to reiterate them because it's the only moment where I know anything about the game, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we've got Hannah. Is it you? Is it me? I don't even remember. Oh, but it's, uh, uh, I'm going. Do it, do it. It could be you. Hannah. I'll just be assertive. It's good in Toy Story. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, 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 I didn't even it. remotely miss it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Thunderbolt Energy with the Glimmet, the Frigibax, the Tandemouse, the Sprigatito, the Heracross, the Kilowattrel. Man, we gotta get a scoring card in here. The Delibird, uh, the Slacking will score, and the Abomasound. They kind of look the same, don't they? They do kind of look the same. Just a little bit. Just got some big boys down there. All right, it's gonna be a two-point pack there for Hannah, and that is going to be yeah. All right. So I feel like we started we started the box. What felt like reasonably strong. We had some good showings, but I, I can't tell if we've if we've already seen everything there is to see or if there's, there's something no else hiding. There's definitely more coming. You, you think know so? what? Next up, it's a crowd favorite, Ben. It's Fran. Fran! Fran! Let's see it! Alright, Fran. Rock is the Rock is pummeling. They're showing yes. up everywhere. The Tarantula, the Murkrow, the Mischievous will score. Is that the, oh, that's a common chase card, so that's two points, actually. There we go, yep. yep. The Grusha, the Primeape, the Miss Magus. Magus will score. The Therapeutic Energy will not. The Dunsparce will the not. The Dunsparce. The Dunsparce, you're right. And then the Tyranitar. Well, so, so that's one, two, three, four. Four points, four that is correct. Four points for Fran. Well done, Fran. Which is their best pack in the last four packs. That's very impressive. Well, there you go. All right, well done. Since their de debut Since back their in debut. season four. Exactly. All right, next up, longtime player is Emerald Phoenix to the game. They've been sort of floating around 21, 9, 6, 11 points. Okay, okay. All over the place for Emerald here. Emerald's a member of our uh, Tuesday Hangout calls over on uh, Patreon. Indeed, indeed. This yep. is uh, this is like one of those things where I always say I feel like the, the longer you go without hitting it big, the more likely it is time to hit it big. Eyeball energy for Emerald. Let's All see right, what we got. It's a good omen. Play Coco, the Watchroll, there it is. The Tink a Tink, you'll love yeah. to see it. The Shrewdel, the Corvusquire, I feel like I see something peeking out even. The Jet Energy, the Fighting Ole, the Snover, oh, the oh. Quaquavel! Look at that, that's the Illustrator Quaquavel EX on the Multiplier, followed by, oh, the Rabskill, which is also gonna get the extra point from the type advantage. That's amazing. That feels like a pretty good pack for Emeralds. Let's see, Emerald for Team Fire over here, about to, about to have a strong showing. I know, here. right, man, that's an awesome Quaquavel, too, Let's by the see, way. Number really 260. Cool. 
on the set is gonna be, that Quaquavo is gonna come in at $7 even. Wow, one penny off of the rounding. Yep, one penny off, wow, so $7 seven, even. Eight, nine, ten times two is 20 points! 20 points, very impressive. Dang. I think that's second place overall? I think so, yeah. Excellent, oh, you already sleeved it. There already yeah, sleeved it, well, well done to Emerald. Skyrocketing up for uh, Team Fire there. That's what I was just saying though. It's like, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're in need of a win, there it comes. There it comes. Speaking of winning, man, here comes Dragon. Dragon, who, uh, this is their second season. So last year, last season and the rookie season, they scored eight points. Didn't have the, the best first pack ever with just a single point. I know, yeah, so probably didn't win rookie of the day, it has to be said. Has to but be they said. do work for a space agency. Well, that's pretty which, cool. How many even are there? Can you just not say NASA? <laughs> or, uh... Or SpaceX? SpaceX, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we've got the Mischievous, that'll well, count for two. Double. yep. The Sneasel, the Goth... Theta, Gothita, yep. the Meryl, the Electrode, the Vigoroth, the Pinkertion, the Mankey, one of Jay's favorite arts of the season, yeah. the Jigglypuff will score, score and, and the, the Slacking will score. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five points there for Dragon. Yeah, Dragon! dragon. Yeah, Dragon! Ba bam there we go. Nicely done, Dragon. Throw that in there. And next up, we've got Sydney. Uh, let's see, longtime player, at least the last uh, three seasons anyway. Hairstyle is from Texas. Hey, we were just in Texas. We were just in Texas. Bam, fireball energy for Sydney. Oh, Ooh, the dear. spill. Oh boy, now we're getting chaotic oh, in here. Oh boy. Ooh. Something could have just changed. All right, Magnemite, Knackle, the Nimble. No, it's the wrong Nimble. I'm Is sorry. it really? Oh my well, gosh. There's two Nimbles, and that's the first of either of them we've seen. Uh, Shinx, Vespaquin, Ice Cube, oh, the Iota, Iota know, scores. Yeah. The Bakuhita does not. The Primeape does not. And the Sable Eye does. So it's going to be a three point pack. Three point pack. Bam. Boy, the Iono coming in clutch there for Sydney. Truly. Right? Get a little extra, a little extra steam. Oh, speaking of Texas, next up we've got Tex. Tex. Reminds me a lot of Minnesota. Hmm. This is not a joke in Forrest Gump. It's, it's like, like hey, we got it's Dallas Tex. from yeah. Yeah. I can't I can't remember where Texas is from. <laughs> Alright, we got the uh, the <clears throat> Dark Teardrop Energy, the <clears throat> Gothita will score, the Mass Shift, the Wingo, the Pineco, the Bramble Gas, the Toxicroak, the Croak of Lord. Man, I feel like I'm yeah, like a rhythm. rhythm. Yeah. yeah. The fighting all all Ooh! Oh the Gold Mail Scarada! Look at that! That's awesome! What a pull! Beautiful followed by the Luxray. Luxray. There we go. Okay, let's check that Meow Scarada out. Number 271 on Pretty the Pretty sweet! Set. That is going to be worth $7.56. We'll round up to Man, eight points. So just a 10 point pack at the end of that. I really thought that would have been a little bit more. But oh well, what can you do? <laughs> I almost I almost just leave the uh, the Luxray. The Luxray. The yeah, this is the one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> Don't protect that gold card at all. Apparently I'm a huge fan of Luxray all of a sudden. I mean Luxray, great card, you know. There we go. Sure right. Nuzlockers will remember Miles the Luxray the Luxray and his hated rival kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as funny as it gets. That was a pretty good. That was a good season. <laughs> Except for when he died. Anyway, spoilers! You know who didn't die? Mercury the Luxray, because we haven't finished the game yet, so there's still a chance. <laughs> so you're telling me there's, there's, a chance. there's a chance! Yeah, Mercury the Luxray lives on, though, in honor of uh, Miles there. Let's see. Boom! Teardrop energy. All right, Glivet, Bramblin, the Shinx. That looks like, is that, the, I think that's the same artist. There we go, that's, that's oh, the nimble. nimble. That's the one, that's what wow. we've been looking for. The Quaxwell, the Cigaro, the Fletchling, the Magnemite, and the Backscalibur, which actually is a super competitive card, so there's that, but it is just a two point pack. I am afraid for Chris K, who I didn't announce as the contestant we were even playing for. Uh, there you go, Chris K, well done. Backscalibur coming to you. Throw that in your Chim Pow deck and you're gonna be doing great. We haven't pulled a champ out yet, I don't think, actually. <laughs> we'll be, be a good one. Maybe this is the pack. Wouldn't that be amazing? Next up we have Charcopple. Uh, has never had a Pokemon card. Well, that's not true anymore, because this is their fourth season, so at least Man, they've so got you, a few. You've got at least a few sets at this point yeah. in time. There we go. Oh, we got the eyeball energy. The double. All right, Great let's see the Chim Pao, man. Let's right, see let's it. Let's see the Wingull, the Super Rod, the Love Disc, the Snover, the Crocolore, the Grafai. Grafai. Why not? This is a Titan. The Frigibax yep. will not score. Oh, oh the Sprigatino. That's amazing. That is a beautiful card. Love it. So, so colorful. Oh. oh, and the Chin Yu. Wow. Chi Yu, not Chim Pao. 
Well, that was pretty close. There we go. Let's see. Number 196. And it's on the multiplier, so this looks like it could be a good pack. Could be a good one indeed. Let's Which... see what we do. $8.44 for the Sprigatito. Is that more than the gold one? I believe it is, wow, yes. so that's yeah. nine points right so there. nine points. And then number 40 on the set is just worth 84 cents. So that'll just be worth a single point. So 10 times two is 20 points. That's good enough for the top three for Charcopple. That's amazing. Very well done, impressive. Well done. And you got the Sprigatito, which is good. I love the artwork on that. I know, that is that is like a, it feels like that could just be like a painting on a wall and nobody would even realize that it was a Pokemon. I know, right? Like, oh, what's that green cat? What's that green cat? What's it sleeping in that field of flowers for? Yeah, because he's already been attacked by a kitten ninja. <gasps> oh, uh, wow. the kitten ninja strikes again. The kitten ninja strikes again. It only yeah. looks like it's sleeping. Oh, oh no! This, this joke went dark. It went dark. Oh well, you know what? Uh, that is going to be great. Team Water scores again. I think they have the top three spots now. Goodness, great team Water. Or at least three like... of the top four. So they are. Uh, they're 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 riding high. They're riding the waves, man. All right. Next up, we have got Cal. Cal. Cow's coming into their fourth season of the game. They haven't had a big break yet. They finished their last couple seasons with three and then four and then four points. So uh, let's see, they, they were collecting Pokemon cards as a kid. They've been excited to start again, is what it says here. Boom, Metal Energy. Can we get them more than a four point pack? That would be the best pack they'd ever opened. Watch roll, knack of stack. Calamitous Snowy Mountain, the Corvusquire, the Dendra, the Pikachu, and oh, the Quick Wobble! There we That's go! Our, this is the third version of this card we've pulled. I want to say it's only going to be like a point though, because this it, is the least it is, valuable. It is just a single point. Wow, such we'll, a bummer. We'll sleeve it for you anyway. Plus, that Pikachu is just a real delight of a card. No doubt, everyone loves a good chew. Everybody does. Everybody does. It's the way we eat. Yeah. You get it? I get it, yeah. Get that. that was a, that was a <laughs> chewing joke. That was a chewing joke. Yeah, man. Top shelf humor from I us came today. For, I came for the Pokemon cards, I stayed for the jokes, you know? But, yeah. Exactly. Put that on a brown shirt. All right, next <laughs> <up>. <laughs> That's a deep cut. Joke. That's a deep, deep cut joke that if you were really leading in, you'll have gotten. Uh, next up is Brooke, a former season champion back in season three, the Silver Tempest season, with her infamous alt art Lugia V. I mean, Brooke took down the season. It was impressive to watch. Although two of those got pulled in the same season, so there yeah. was a contender. There was a contender. It wasn't like she just sat there uh, and just uh, rested on her laurels, as it were. All right, let's see. How can Brooke do? Can she return to glory? There's a Pikachu again, the Fragariff, the Zwilus, the Spidops, the Voltorb, the Tinkatuff will score, and the Mimikyu will score. So that's going to be one, two, three? Three points, I three believe points so. Three points for Brooke. Yeah. So, uh, Brooke looking for a little return to glory here, but uh, I, I have confidence in her, I have confidence in her. Started out last season with just three points as well. It's just like in Game of Thrones, when you've got when you've got king's blood, it's yeah. like magically there's a difference. It's like yeah. former champions have that. You They've know? got it's that, like, you know. They're gonna, they're gonna rise up, they are a threat again. Uh, Brandt has been threatening to be threatening for quite a while now. They finished uh, three of their last four seasons with 10, 10, and 22 points. Threatening to be threatening. Threatening to be threatening. So it has, it hasn't quite made the, uh, the big splash. Uh, uh, I don't think they've landed an ETB yet, but um, they have been putting up solid numbers. So it could be the season. It could. This could be their season. It's important to always believe that this could be your season. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's how sports works. Well, I assume you're putting in a lot of work in the off season. Of course. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. We'll yeah. have Mayroll right off the top. A little bit of a confusing play, but Jay's favorite. Yeah. That makes sense. We got the Dilly Bird. Clearly thought we were gonna have like a water type for today, but that's okay. I mean, the Super Rod. So yeah, continuing uh, to confirm that the Pelipper. Pelipper. Very what? nautical themed back here. Like right, kind of a shift over into just bird life, and then we're taking a hard left turn into who even knows what. The Vigoroth, the Crow Gunk doesn't do anything. Thing for us, the Frigibax, really again on that water, and then the Glamora. So, wow, is it a single point pack? It's a single point pack. So for Brant, this was Brant hmm. definitely well, like it made some choices in the off season, none There's of which no have doubt. paid off so far. Yeah, but. yeah. Was there a pack? Was there a, a card, a Fletchinder once upon a time that you like named your least favorite Pokemon? Oh, it's Talonflame. Like, Talonflame. He's just like, all right, too. let's just be lazy, why yeah. don't we? <laughs> right. uh, nine cents, by you the way. You just drew a bird. For the Glamora. All right, next up is Ben C, but not you. But not me. Yeah, not, not Similar to me. Similar to you. They finished last season with 25 points, and before that, it finished season three with 83 points. So Man. 
They have uh, really been uh, putting up numbers as well. Threatening to be threatening. <laughs> threatening to be threatening. Getting their money's worth out of their box breaker subscription. There's no doubt there. They've at least pulled some good cards. Uh, the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Flay Coco, the Bramblin, the Cufant, the Krogunk, the Artisan, the Paudan Tauros, the Practice Studio, Pin Kirch and Sableye will score, and the Hariyama, Hariyama! will score. There it is. So just uh. two points for Ben C to kick off the season. It's actually their second uh, two-point pack in a row, so they ended last season as oh, well. Oh man, but also, I mean, the Hariyama, just a, a good friendly reminder, that's never, it's never a bad way to end a conversation. It is not, yeah, just like, all right, see you later, Hariyama! Hariyama! There you go. All right, uh, next up we have Austin Johnson. Johnson! All right, AJ. Do people call you AJ? Is it all right to call you AJ? Age. Age. Nobody yeah. ever called me BC. No. Nope. Actually, nobody ever called me Carlin either. You always got to claim that one. That was me. I know. Yeah. I was like, man, I don't want to be called Carlin. That's yeah. a cool way to be called. I know, because people could have called me JC, probably. They it's could more have. of an initial kind of name, but I'm not really a fan of that. So. Yeah. Well, how about Johnny? Nope. No, yeah, definitely Worse. Not. Worse. Sing single John? Single John. Not, not that bad. People have gotten away with that in the past, but like, just, you know, that's our dad's name, so full Jonathan. There or Jay. There you go. Uh, I've got the Fletchling, the Voltorb, the Clavel, the Trope. The Faulkner, the Dun Dun Sparse, the Passimian, the Skip Loom does not score, the Mousehold does not score, the but the Mimikyu will score. At least two points. At least two. So at least it knocks you out of last place, I which know, unfortunately right? is actually not as helpful as you would want it to be. I know. Maybe it's sometimes you want that single point. Like if you're going to only get two, you may as well have only gotten one. Exactly. Right? All right, next up is Anna. Who, oh my goodness, Anna, Anna, Anna. Anna did something insane in high school that she's still known for, but won't say it. Well, let me tell you, we've met Anna, and we know exactly what you did. We right? know. We know what you We were did. there. We were there. We were part of it. And we just, we just added an air of mystery. I know. That, yeah. like, because we keep talking about how we're like, oh my gosh, how could, what could infamous Anna have done? I know. Well, we know because we were a part of it. We were a part of it. We were not aware that this joke was about us, but it was. It's always the best when you don't know the jokes are about you. <laughs> the best or the worst? <laughs> Does it help or hurt? It's hard to say. Both. As long as you don't find out. Right, exactly. But yeah, now well, we have. Now, but actually, it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. Anyway, so Toddle, Shrudel, Jigglypuff will score, the Florigato, the Quaxwell, the Delivery Drum, the Spirit Tomb will score. Oh, oh the, Flamigo! the Flamigo! This is the one you wanted in your deck. I know, bed. part of the bed deck. The Flamigo and the Titar. Man, that's an awesome Flamigo, though. That is super cool. I hope the one, that two, they did three, it justice. Four. And made it extremely scarce and powerful. Let's we'll see, number 227 on the set. $7.50 for wow. that Flamigo. So eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes. Bam. 12, 12 points. 12 points on Very the Flamigo, impressive. which is also another one of my favorite artworks this season. I know, that is a really, really cool looking card there. I know. You want to talk about being lazy with your bird Pokemon, though? It's a Flamingo. It's a... It, it, <laughs> It's a giraffe. And we're just like, so you, you're you working on the Flamingo Pokemon, right? And they're like, yeah, what do you got going here? And like, well, stick what with do me you now. Think? Stick <laughs> with me now. Uh, this is where I'm at. Um, I have not been playing Solitaire. I promise. This is, I'm going to... They're like, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank goodness. I basically just drew a bird. I drew a Flamingo. <laughs> All right, anyway, next up is Andrew P. Who is uh, only their second season ever, and they came in pretty solid with uh, 19 points in their first season. You love to see it for Team Electric. Although they kind of came, they, they went out strong, and then kind of came to a skid. It looks like they must have won Rookie of the Day. I'd have to imagine. One, once upon a time, yeah. Once so upon a time to, to relive that glory. Or they lost it in a horrible fashion with 17 points. Goodness gracious! Can you imagine? Oh, oh, coming in hot again. Maybe this is their move. They just come out guns blazing. Or as I like to say, buns blazing. That's right. All right, here we go. We got Bramblin. We got Shanks. Is it? It's correct. Nimble, Moshtiff, Luxio, Mabostiff, Pupitard, Sharkadet, Clavel, and another Quaquavel. That's our fourth Quaquavel. We've gotten a full play set of this card in this box. With some is, diversity as well. Yeah, this is the second one of this exact card, which is kind of weird. Um, but we also got the full art and the illustrator art, so... Uh, I, I want to say this was worth just a point. Just one point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we get... Two oh. times two is four. Four points. So really, Damn. really clawing your way up to yeah, four points what, from what really was otherwise. Made something out of nothing there. That's exactly it. There you go. Well, but you know what? Sometimes that's the best bread. 
four Quaquavel in one box. That's that a is lot of Quaquavel. I've had enough Quaquavel for one box. One, yeah. You know what? I've been. Watch it happen again. I know. If it does, then it does. Watch it be like the non EX version. You know? Could it happen? I mean, that'd be so wild. Next up is um, Alicia May, aka Spider Man. AKA Spider Man. Right. Same, oh, same birthday as Peter Parker. Right, oh, I yeah. See. And there's yeah. also the um, alternate reality Aunt where Aunt May, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Okay, you got it. there yeah. we are. We're catching back up. Sometimes we make jokes and then we remember them. We're like, how Love did we disc. get here? There it is. Snover, Fletchling, Voltorb, Arongaru, Electrode. Uh, Grafii, the Kufant, the Palmy does not score, and the Spirit Tomb for your Mew. So, for your Mew. So one, two, three. three points there for Alicia May, alternate universe Spider-Man out there. Well done. Coming in uh, hot. Did they pull a Spide Ops last time? They might have. That might have been part of it as well. Oh, it could be. It yeah. could be. Yeah, that's a good memory. That's well, there good you memory. go. Anyway, guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. I feel like we saw some pretty interesting sparks fly. There was no doubt. We had some some critical hits mixed into the equation. We, we had, had lots of type Quo advantage. Quavel. Team Water took a huge lead. I think the Quaquavel may have just sank on my on my favorite. Yeah, right. Uh, like Pokemon of all time. It's just like it's like can we see another new, one? New least favorite starter. A new least. Favorite starter. Wow. Put it in the you can. You saw it happen. Put it in the can. It's just in real time. In, yeah. In real time. Anyway, guys, as ever, thank you so much for tuning in. We are amid season six at the moment, but we're still inside of month one, so lots of action left to come in this particular season. Uh, if you are interested in becoming a future patron of Box Breakers, and we are currently sold out, there is a wait list available in the description down below. Highly recommend you fill that out. If we have any spots come available, we'll be sure to let you know, and it will be available on a first come, first serve basis. But otherwise, guys, until next time. Hariyama! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Three, two, one. Hariyama! Hariyama!